Officer Copeland worked for the San Marcos Police Department for 19 years. The chief of police called him a hero. We've been learning more overnight about Officer Copeland, who friends and family say served his community in and out of uniform. Chris Davis is live for us in San Marcos with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Sally and John here outside the police department. Some of those people who knew him have been dropping off flowers and candles. Uh, they've since been moved up under the awning closer to the doors in this heavy rain that we've been seeing in the last few minutes. But uh, a number of bouquets of flowers and those electric candles out here throughout the night from people who knew him. And one of the people who knew him well is here with us this morning, uh, Pastor Mike Hollyfield from the Promised Land Church here in San Marcos. This is the, the church where Officer Copeland worked uh, security for, uh, you, you were telling me about the last three years. What kind of a, a, a man was Officer Copeland? To say that he was amazing is an understatement. I, I've never met a man that, that, was, that was so uh, happy. Uh, he loved people. He, he loved to smile. Uh, just a great, great man, a wonderful friend. Uh, met him about three years ago, like I said, in, in San Marcos, at Promised Land San Marcos, and um, we hit it off right away. We talked about, you know, being veterans. Him and I both are veterans, and talked about getting coffee. And the last time I saw him, which I didn't know would be my last time, was uh, November 12th. And uh, gave me a big hug like we're, we're family. And I said, hey, man, let's go have coffee. He said, yes, let's do this after Thanksgiving. Wow. You live in the subdivision where this shooting happened as well. You, you were saying uh, you got home about a half hour after all this happened. There were still police all over the neighborhood there. When did you find out and how did you find out that it was this friend of yours who, who was involved? Uh, I found out that, that there was an officer down, um, you know, uh, different people within our community was calling and asking if we were okay. And uh, when I found out who it was, was actually at the, uh, the uh, when, when uh, the chief of police was talking about it. And it just, it really hit, it hit hard simply because this is my friend. And this senseless act that happened and the fact that he was doing it on his day off just to provide for his family uh, it was really hard really hard obviously an emotional day for you and, and everyone who who knew him uh, come Sunday uh, you're a pastor how how are you going to explain this to your congregation who who know, knew him as well who got to know him over the last three years what can you say to to the, those people you know, there's not a, uh, many words that you can say that, that will actually help the healing, but we know that, that God can come in the midst of this situation and He can bring a peace that only He can. We're going to pray for the family. We're going to pray for the assailant and his family as well. We know that, that the comfort can only come from God. It's not the words that we say. The comfort comes from Pastor Mike Hollyfield from the Promised Land Church here in San Marcos. Thank you very much for being with us here this morning. Earlier this morning, we were uh, speaking as well with the chair of the 100 Club of Central Texas. That's a group that provides emotional and financial support to the families of lost first responders. And if you want to donate to their cause, we have a link where you can do that on our website.